I hate this part. I am on the mushroom duty. What is she doing? Oh, she's opening my feet. Not my, not, not my feet. So today we're gonna try to get all the groceries that we can and then we'll have to come back tomorrow again to get all the live stuff that we can't get today. We're giving them $100 each. I thought we were giving them 20 bucks each. Okay, we need to discuss this lucky money thing because I'm splitting the bill with her. I thought we were giving them like 20 for the cleaning ladies, 50 for the for the guards, and then 100 for the lady that we like. We have to cook the vegetarian dish tonight. So yeah, it's gonna be a long night. <laughs> Let's go to the wet market. This is how people air out their laundry. Ha 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 ha. I think it's dirty on the rails, but people seem to think that the sun will kill everything. Ah, oh, the world of the wet market. There we are. Remember, that girl told us, Zhuzhang is the armpit of the pig. All the all the family members are coming out and now he's trying to do math on his scale. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, the pharmacy looks crazy, let me show you. It is the day where Wuhan has announced that they're closing down their city. People can't go in or out of Wuhan, and so people are, are super frantic right now, and everybody's trying to buy a mask. We actually bought a box of masks when the first when we heard about the virus, because I knew that Hong Kong was gonna go crazy about it. But we only have a box of 40, and we've used a bunch of them by now. So now we're trying to get an extra one, but no more, no more masks. They used to be full of masks. That's how many they sold. Holy cow. In the kitchen today is, what day is it today, Rumi? This is the day or the night before the actual dinner. And so we are doing the preparation. We're actually gonna make the vegetarian dish today. It's like a curry, it tastes better the second day. I think that's why we're making it today, right? Mm -hmm. Right, okay, good. So what we're doing is, people always ask me what we do with all the dried seafood that you see at the seafood markets. You ha you can't just like pop them in and eat them. Everything has to be rehydrated with water. So this is hose, see? This is, these are oysters. So we are now soaking them in the water. And then we are now also soaking the dried shiitake mushrooms. Our shiitake mushrooms are usually always dried. No matter how long you soak them, the stem never gets soft again. So you actually will cut off the stem afterwards. This is called fa choy. I call it rich hair. It's something that we have to eat um, during Chinese New Year's. In fact, this dish is a vegetarian dish. It has to have two things. It has to have the oysters and it has to have this uh, rich hair because the oysters is ho si. And then this is called fa choy. Fa choy ho si. It kind of sounds like uh, fa choy ho si. That means rich good things so that's why we eat it <laughs> what is that not the right way to say it right right okay and then oh i'm gonna show you the swim bladder we have some swim bladder this is the fish bladder that you'll see uh, at the wet market it is the thing that makes the fish uh float dried this is the dried version and then what are you doing right now okay she's all right, so she's mincing the garlic right now. We boiled down some of the tofu puff because I think it's to get away some of the oil. I'm not really sure. We're just doing everything that Auntie is telling us to do, basically. I am on the mushroom duty. Ah! And she's on the oyster duty. What duty are you on? Vegan. 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 Vegan.
Joyce, what are you doing? Take out this side. Okay. This side. Oh, she's taking out the dirty bits of the oysters. Rumi, what are you doing? Cooking the mushroom. She's cooking the mushroom. Auntie's on management duties. Yeah. My mushroom stems, we're saving it for soup tomorrow. So my auntie has very high expectations. She doesn't like the wet market store-bought bean curd, the deep fried ones. So she has to, she insists that we have to deep fry our own. Fat choy. And I actually looked it up because I call it wealthy hair, but it's actually called dried black moss. There. Oh, it feels really weird and mossy. Oh. Day two. Chinese soups, whatever meat you use, you still have to face it. So that's the first thing you do, which is like basically blanch and take out all the dirt and everything from the meat first, and then everything else you just put together. Oh, that's our jelly bee. This, this is actually, if you recognize, this is the stem of the mushroom from yesterday. Use the stem now to put it in the broth for flavor. Hello, it's going in. Zhizhang, this is the armpit of the pig. Long in meat. It's their matcho. They're very, very sweet. Here you are, as you can see, Chinese broths are very expensive to make because there's so much stuff that goes into it. This is Chinese yam. Oh, for collagen. Favorite freaking thing in the entire world. Fish small, the swim bladder of the fish. Whoa, it's so cool. And then we're gonna close it and then we're gonna let it boil for another two hours. This is our wonderful chicken. Oh, okay. Why are we eating spring onion? Oh, eat spring onion, then you'll be chongbing, which is smart. Why don't we eat chicken? For health. For health? Really? Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> and then we steam this for 25 minutes. Whoa! Oh my god, look at all the fat on the bottom. Because we usually carve the chicken with a knife. But in her instance, they use scissors. And in Hong Kong, you don't actually take off the chicken feet. What we do is we just, instead of trussing the chicken, we just stick them back into the carcass and that's how it holds its shape. And we like to eat it. Somehow piece it back together so it looks like a chicken. That's our chicken. Because you have to go back, do this. To make it curlier. Oh yeah. And oh. The ginger. Uh, and ginger, okay fine, spring onion done. How I like to peel my ginger is I just use a spoon, it's faster. Oh yeah. <laughs> ah! Okay, we are currently preparing the shrimp now. <laughs> my mom says that if you eat shrimp which is hot, then they will be and hot. But I think the real way is that then if you eat shrimp then it's siwa ha. So you let me know. Uh oh, I beheaded the whole thing. I don't think that's good luck. <laughs> what happens if you ate it and you have a dream and then he's like, Give me back my foot. Give me back my foot. More. Huh? Good to more. Okay. Let me take you through. This is the abalone, broccoli, and duck feet. Abjung. Abalone because um, it's part of seafood and there's it's just expensive. So that's why you have it on the table. Here's the fish. 
That's you, Lin Yao Yu. So every year you'll have bountiful amounts of everything. You also have to have a chicken um, for several reasons. No one can really tell me the reason. And then here's the ha. My mom says then you moi be a ha so no one can bully you. Other people will say cuz si ha ha that means then you're gonna laugh and be very happy. Oh, is Auntie recording this? Okay. <laughs> and then here's the zai. Why do we eat the zai? Oh, cuz there's fa choi ho si. So it's um get rich good things. So there's a fa choi which is a black dried moss, and then there's ho si which is the oyster. This is our soup. This is the main character of the soup, the lean ao. And in Chinese, it is uh, Li Dou Yao. That means every year you will have. One hour later. Little. Okay, great. Look at our Tong Yun. Do you remember why we eat Tong Yuns? It's because it sounds like Tun Yun, which means reunion of the family. So it's good luck to eat them. Your family will be wholesome and safe every single year. Mmm. They still look kind of sketch. That's a lot of model. Wow! <laughs> Do we pray that they don't all burst? There's sesame floating around. We didn't want to overcook it because we're really scared that it might burst. <laughs> Gibberish. So I'm still, so we, I, so I ate all the dumplings already, but I, 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 I was born in Canada. Shoes, right? You can't also buy shoes for the first month as well because of the way that it sounds, and you have to have new clothes ready for the new year. So there's a lot of things that you have to do, um, and I like to address it in the next video or so. So, anyways, I hope you enjoyed today. I'm gonna wrap it up here. Two hours later. Last thing we do before we go for Chinese New Year's Eve is that these are pomelo leaves and people need to take a shower with them and they need to cleanse the house with them. They're supposed to take away the bad and keep the good or they, it just takes away bad luck. Uh, they're called rok yao yi. So the most common version of this I've heard is that you bring it home, you clean out the leaves, and then you boil it with water and then use the water to shower. Another version that I've heard is that you just put it on your head and then you just shower with it. And then my other auntie, she said you just kind of dust yourself with it after you finish showering. Uh, so those are the three different variations that you can do. Uh, right now though, what other people like to do is they like to uh, cleanse the house with it. So it just seems like everybody does it slightly different to their own house rules. And since my auntie doesn't really have a definitive one for this particular one, I'm just going to make it my own. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write my name with these leaves on the walls. That was my signature. Yeah. So that's my way. My name is Virginia, Virginia Chan, and I'm with Humid with a Chance of Fish Bowls, and we do food tours in Hong Kong. If you like this video and you're interested in the content, please do like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. So, what's the weather like in Hong Kong? Well, it's humid with a chance of fish bowls. Till next time, Jackie. Okay.